Hello guys, welcome back to another figure review of mine. Now we're gonna take a look at my favorite figure of my collection. I'm just joking around. I haven't reviewed in a while. And I cut down on my collection as you guys can see. That has a couple of reasons. Different hobbies. I train a lot, my sport costs a lot of money and I game a lot. I buy a lot of games like, I don't know, maybe like th three games a month and 60 each and a couple of in the hundreds on supplements for training and stuff anyway we're not talk about that we're talk we are here to talk about this figure this figure is sick man this is my favorite figure in my collection this is a figure i wanted in a while this is a knight a christian crusader for all your christians out there this is one to get dante dante is so sick and this I bought this figure mint in box, original, no knockoff, no nothing. And the detail on this figure is just remarkable. Yes, just details overall. Look at the chest piece, the detail on the chest piece. Wait a minute, I'm gonna grab my phone and we're gonna run through the details because there's so much to see here. Look. Look at the chest piece. Come on. The paint application, the sculpt, and that all for 30 bucks, man. This figure, I'm going to collect more NECA figures because they are cheaper for me. And um, I get a um, great feeling from them. Oh, my camera center, center camera, please. Come on. Come on. Come on. Now, oh, man, this camera is really annoying. Yes, now he centers it. Look at this. I uh, know. Uh, it's annoying. Anyway, you can see there is literally detail overall on this figure. Soft goods here with uh, crosses on the bottom of it. He has uh, armor plates here which are battered and uh, battle damage. Nice sculpting on the shin guards with the leather and nice straps and chainmail in it. All nicely detailed, sculpted and painted. And uh, overall, all those straps with nice paint, black wash all over it, and it's all sculpted on there. It's very nice, man. And the head sculpt is just phenomenal. And the chain mill on it. And it comes with two accessories one uh, alternative hand, which I've packed on here, probably to hold the cross. And this one is to hold the weapon he. he takes from the Grim Reaper and this is a bendy wired weapon I'm gonna show it look there's a bendy wire in it and this figure and you can pack it off to pack it here on his back let's see come on Uh, I don't know, it doesn't work, sorry. Uh, and anyway, you can pack off here the cross, but uh, it's. Uh, I, I'm gonna let it on there. Anyway, let's go and uh, compare this figure with a couple of other figures. So let's see. In si uh, size wise, he is just like other NECA figures. Wow, look at this figure. This is just so phenomenal. Bam! <laughs> Marvel Select skill, he will absolutely smoke everybody except Superman and Dragon Ball Z stuff. This figure, he's just so strong. Let's go run through the articulation. His head is on a ball pack and his neck. It's very stiff, the articulation, very stiff. He can rotate his head. Uh, his shoulders are in inches. It gets a little bit hindered here, you need to watch out because the glue can come off there. He has a single joint here and it rotates. A rotation and hinge here on his wrist which is very tight also. He has an ab crunch here. It's not the best looking ab crunch but I do really like that it is there. You can crunch him forward still there, not further. 
and backwards not so much actually so that's the uh, app crunch there and he has an DCUC hip uh, articulation type of uh, articulation you can inch out to there better than Spider-Man Marvel Legend figures kick forward not so much because it gets hindered by the plating of his armor his rotation here in the thigh which is nicely hidden and a rotation here and a single joint here which you can bend in like this and then he has rotation here at the calf and kind of a pivot but you need to work with it a little the hinge is on the front so you need to work with that so yeah that's the articulation of this figure that was the figure here and this is just a phenomenal figure let's just take a look at him let's put this sword in his hand just for fun you need to really work with it because his hands just barely wants to hold anything like this and the uh, joints can come maybe a little bit loose on some parts but not really I don't know you need to always watch out with NECA stuff they are cheap but they are not really toys toys sometimes you, know, you can play around with it though but not too much you know you need to be careful a little bit sometimes so yeah this is my showcase on the Dante figure hope you guys liked it I definitely recommend this figure see you guys